people everywhere face the same issues and they want pragmatic leadership at the state legislature to solve those issues. I sit in traffic on the way to and from work. That's the economy sitting with me on I-94. We need a modern infrastructure and modern transportation system to keep our economy moving. And I find it at door after door. Student loan debt is holding back a whole generation from moving forward. The achievement gap is particularly stark in our state and we really do need to have a rising tide to lift all boats and make sure that all of our children have a chance of success. One of the things that I learned from working for Senator Klobuchar is um, the importance of civil discourse and good governance and I think I can take that to St. Paul. Deb Calvert is running for the Minnesota Senate seat presently held by our friend Terry Bonhoff. In April, when Senator Bonhoff announced that she would not seek re-election from Senate District 44, that's Woodland, Northern Minnetonka, and Southern Plymouth, and that she would instead challenge Eric Paulson's bid to return to Washington for another term, the question thus arose, who would be the best individual to replace independent-minded DFLer Terry Bonhoff in the state Senate? The answer became clear, Deb Calvert. Your Senate district is not comprised by any means of 100% Democrats. No. It's <laughs> Democrats, Republicans, and Independents. Yes. What common issues do you think all of those groups of people have that you could address when you're sitting over in the legislature servicing uh, uh, your Senate district? I think we all have the same issues, and I think that's what makes this an exciting thing to do. Education is something that is important to everyone. Um, traffic is important to everyone. I think our water resources, our green spaces, the environment is important to people on both sides of the aisle. And caring for our most vulnerable, everybody cares about their parents, everybody cares about their children. And so those are things that we all agree on. What are you hearing from uh, your future constituents out there? They really just want some sensible people to go to St. Paul and get something done. They want civil discourse. They want good governance. They want bipartisan cooperation to finish session on time and solve the problems that we all have. And it's across the board, and um, there really isn't much disagreement on that. So let me, uh, let me, let's talk a bit about Deb Calvert. Viewers should know that Deb's Calvert world includes her husband, Waldo, a home in Minnetonka, two adult children, the violin, the Minnetonka Planning Commission, U.S. Senator Amy Klobuchar, many campaign teams, the Hopkins School District, and the Mitchell Hamlin School of Law. Have I summed it up correctly? Pretty, pretty much, yes, absolutely. Deb. Yes. Stuck in traffic on 94. All you're trying to do is get from your home out in Minnetonka over to Ramsey yeah. County, and it's gridlocked. I mean, not all the time, but it's often enough. So what can be done? We've got. Uh, roads and bridges that have to be repaired and replaced. We only have so much money to do that. What's the solution? Is there a solution? Well, there are solutions. Um, I think we need a multimodal approach to this very complex issue, but we did have $270 million of surplus tax revenue that wasn't expected. Perhaps we should be applying some of that um, to address the billions of dollars of need that we have in road and bridge maintenance and construction. The other thing that I think I can bring to it is the approach that I take on the Minnetonka Planning Commission, which is really to look at each mechanism on its merits, each proposal on its merits, and make my decision based on that. I think there are many, many different ways that we can go. Taking money out of the general fund is one way that people have been proposing, but if we do that, then we have to take a good hard look at what we are not going to be funding. Most of our funds go to education, so our children, and health and human services, so the care of our elderly, and nobody wants to cut those things. Well, Deb, uh, everybody that yeah, runs everyone. for the legislature says, I'm going to work across the aisle. But, and Terry Bonhoff did it, I think, uh, relatively successfully. Yes. Do, you, do you think you'll be able to emulate her in that regard? I do, and I think one of the things um, that we have in common is we're very straightforward, and we don't pull any punches. We don't. We say what we mean, and we mean what we say, and I think that is really important so that people know who they're dealing with. You know, is it really right that the state takes on... She's, she's a really hard worker, as is this Amy is Klobuchar. Very, very both some of the hardest working people today. I've ever met in my uh, life, and, and that me. is a quality that I have. Um, 
I have one of the strongest work ethics of anyone I know, and I think people appreciate someone who will put the work in and not phone it in, and uh, that would be me. So uh, I'm sort of intrigued by that one part of your background that says you were uh, a violin instructor, yeah. a teacher. How long did you do that? I did that for many years, 15 years. I teach a method that teaches that every child can learn, that anyone can learn, and it's not necessarily something that it's in, that's innate, and it really has to do with the work that you put in, the quality of work that you put in to succeed at music and um, create some beauty. So you, you're a 13-year resident of Minnetonka. Yes. Give us a snapshot. Well, I have to say that there are many worse things that you can do than to go door knocking in the western suburbs. It is beautiful. The mature trees, the water resources, the creeks, the wetlands, the ponds, the lakes, the schools are wonderful. The people are reasonable. I mean, I knock on so many doors and everybody is polite. Everybody's nice. Everybody wants to hear what you have to say and they want to be heard. And it's very nice to live in a place where people are reasonable. The amenities are just a short walk or drive away. Those are the things that people want to preserve and those are things that I can work on for everyone. Um, it just, it, you couldn't ask for a better place to live, really. Deb, uh, uh, it sounds to me like you fit the district to a T. Thanks for being with us. Thank you so much. Democratic Visions is handcrafted by volunteers from Eden Prairie, Hopkins, Minnetonka, Edina, and Bloomington. Watch us on select cable systems and on our YouTube channel. This is Carol Sundstrom. Mm -hmm.